My week is based around legs. I do legs every three days. So it's legs and then everything else is spread out that I can just keep it going. Legs, chest, back, legs, shoulders, and then sometimes I'll go back to chest again. Leg day has to be somewhere that I know. I need room, I need certain things, very specific with my leg workouts. This is just a drop set, um, and then at the end, I'm gonna push on it, and you're, she's going to hold it up as long as you possibly can. Your legs should be shaking, you should be convulsing, usually they look like this. Three, three two, three, and one. And the good thing with doing something like that is when I go to a squat or I go to a leg press or I go to anything else, I don't need to add all that extra weight on. I mean, your knees are very important. It's not something that you wanna to put tons and tons of weight on. Your knees are very, very valuable. For a leg curl to get a little more isolation, up elevated, instead of laying all the way back down. A lot of times when you go heavy, your hips come off and you don't really want your hips to come off. You're not gonna be able to go as heavy because you're isolating on right here a little bit more. Now normally when I do my sets, the placement of bar is right, right about where your ankle is. If you place it almost on your calf, you're not gonna be able to go as high, but you are going to feel that thing curl so much. Try it here when you're farther away. You're gonna hit up here a little bit more. When you slide back down, put it somewhere like right around your calf. Smaller motion, but bigger intensity on the actual hamstring. What kinds of butt exercises do you do? I don't do any. How I work the butt is all the different variations of squats. In one workout, I will do at least four different variations of squats. <laughs> we will have a regular squat. We will have a sumo squat. We will have a close, maybe a vertical, wide. So as I'm doing sumo squat, you want to position your feet so they're like pointed out, just like a sumo. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's how they stand. Once you come up to the top, you can stop here, but here I add a little hip flexion. Up, squeeze forward, and then back down. You don't want to be hunched over like this, okay? Always keep your chest up when you come down. Uh, you should feel everything right here. When you're at the top, hips forward, squeeze. So I actually reverse this one um, to hit more glute uh, hand tie-in. Feet slightly out. When you come down, you go down as low as you can so you can activate those hamstring butt. I mean, you're gonna hit your quads as well, but you're gonna hit hamstrings and glutes by facing it this way. Something like this is more gonna be geared towards front quads. So I'll, I usually will do this right after extensions. Pretty much anything lower than this, you're gonna get into glutes hand tie-in. If you stop here, you're gonna focus on your quads a little bit more. So I made my own vertical leg press. I usually position it so the bar is right above my hip. At the start, just practice opening, closing, opening, closing. But right here, you're going as low as you can. Right now, this is a lot of hamstring and glutes. I mean, it's very hard to come by a vertical leg press. There's two different ways. I do lunges. We did lunges where we were doing like really close steps, making sure that our knee doesn't go in front. And then on the way back, you go a little bit longer. So that's where you're gonna hit glute ham tie-in. 